Moin, this is Timo Buske and you're watching Blit Photo Tutorials. Today I'm going to show you a really cool trick how to easily tweak colors. Okay, let's start with the composition. I think the rotation and the crop is okay, but I want to do a little keystone corrector here, so I'm grabbing the keystone tool and align this line here with a grid. That should be okay. And next thing I want to do is care about the lights. So my standard workflow, desaturate completely. And I think in this case we can add a little vignette. And to brighten this up, I'm going to <coughs> bring up the exposure a bit. Okay. Um, Next thing I want to improve is uh, the sky. It's a bit um, over brightened and we also can um, recover the shadows. So for this I'm using the HDR tool. I'm going to recover the highlights. And the shadows. Yep. Okay, there could be a little more contrast. That's better. Okay, now let's care about the colors. I'm going to show you a really cool trick. Let's uh, crank up the saturation to the max. And uh, this is completely overdone, but you can tweak um, the white balance pretty well with this. So um, first of all, let's uh, reduce the temperature. And uh, yeah, it's a bit greenish here, so let's shift this to magenta. And it's a lot easier when you have uh, full saturation, because then you will see if you do this too much immediately. So this is okay for now, and now we can reduce um, the saturation again. Okay, the last thing I want to do is uh, care about the sharpness. Um, Standard workflow, radius to minimum and amount to maximum, and slowly increase the radius. And uh, yeah, this is a bit too sharp here, so let's bring this back. I think this is good. Okay, um, now we can do some retouching works. So, for example, these are really disturbing here, so I'm creating a clone layer and drawing a mask. Also for this element here, I'm going to choose something from below, a source area, and I'm switching to healing layer because this should look a bit better here in this area. Yep, perfect. Okay. Uh, I want to paint a little gradient uh, to the sky. So I'm grabbing the gradient mask tool. And I'm going to lower the brightness for this. Okay, that's nice. So this is another disturbing element. As you can see, it is always better to do this before you do the shot. So I will try to remove this with another clone layer here, but this could be a bit more work. I'm grabbing a brush tool. Try to get this from below. Okay, this is not perfect, but it will work for now. Switching to healing, healing layer and do the same for the other part of the stick here. Clone layer first, because it's a bit faster. Ah, let's go for the full stick here. Okay. Uh, 
Okay, this is not perfect, but it will. Uh, it's okay for now. Let's zoom back a bit. Okay, nice. Let's see before after. Before a bit flat, and after really vibrant and uh, nice, friendly colors. I hope you like the video, and thanks for watching.